bucks a day. That's too little. What do you mean that's too little? You've been reading too many comments, dude. Uh, yeah. So how much you want? How 50, much you want? 50. 50? Yep. Dude, that's like a 100% increase. <laughs> That's good. Guys, hey, smash, uh, smash a like below. And uh, I don't know, tell me if he's worth 50, guys. I don't know, 50, from 25 to 50, that's a big increase real quick, dude. Oh my God, Aiden, it's happened. We're gonna do this, kid. Are you ready or no? All right, guys, so here's what's going on. They're setting up the tugboats. Aiden's here, pretty fascinating. I'm probably more fascinated, I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, Captain Norman, the tug captain of the Gene Ruth is uh, starting up his, the Atlas is the rear tug and uh, we're gonna get on the rear tug and we're gonna do an amazing video guys. You guys have no idea. Listen, this, this came out because of you guys and I'll tell you the story throughout this video of how this materialized because it's such an awesome story. And uh, I, I get fascinated with the story more than I do the actual experience you know what leads to the story so look at this guys oh my god this is this is the miami river on roids we're coming on the atlas and the gene root we're gone that that thing literally just left <laughs> that thing just literally just left all right guys all right come come here come here kid come here look at that look where we're on guys we are on the Atlas, the tail tug, and look who's behind us. The actual Dean Ruth, guys. Because of you guys, and because of Norman, cool story, guys. So stay tuned, we're gonna go ahead and tell the story. We're on the Atlas right now, we're the rear tug. We're gonna give you guys the, the rear perspective of how this works. They say it's really intense while you're on the boat, so stay tuned for that. But we're on the Miami River, guys. Look at this! Come here, Aiden! Come here! Stop being shy, dude! Come, man! Come, come here! Come here, kid! Look at him! Look at him! He's running! He's like, Dad, I just want to be behind the camera! Okay guys, so he's he's starting to leave. This is the first, this is the first time there's still this line that's still on. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming there's a process here. All right, Aiden is filming the, uh, the Gene Ruth, and uh, I was speaking to the captain, and his name is Norman. Guys, how crazy is this? Oh my goodness, my God, this is so insane. There we go, there, we're off, guys. We are off, and let the fun begin. He said the boat is going to take us. He says, Alfred, hold on. This thing pulls boats like crazy. So I got to keep my distance. 
Wow, look at that. You hear the crackling of the, of the pressure on the lines? Absolutely nuts, dude. Let me tell you. Oh, look at it. She's leaving, guys. Hold the camera. Hold it. I'm telling Aiden. Aiden, if you want, if you want, I know your mom might not appreciate this, but we have seven female subscribers now. You can zoom in on your dad every now and then. You know what I'm saying? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. My, my wife just unsubscribed, guys. My wife just unsubscribed right now. We got six again, guys. We got six. And we're off, gentlemen. We are off. Wow, how nuts is this? Guys, stay tuned if you want to see this incredible video. I mean, I don't think we're going to get, you can't get more of a real perspective than what we're going to deal with now. That is absolutely crazy. I can't get too close. I'll get closer up with the other camera, which I can zoom in on. This one I really can't zoom in. It's more of like a, How nuts is this, dude? How crazy was that? Okay, look, here's one of those turns. You see how, how he's, he's turning it? Guys, this is one of those tight spots. You, you're recording right now, Aiden? This is one of those tight spots, guys. Look at that angle right there that he has to work this. We got Captain Greg over here, guys. We'll meet him later. We'll meet him later. I don't want to interrupt anybody, but uh, we are doing this. Oh my goodness, guys. This is absolutely incredible stuff, dude. Okay, he's pulling the other way, so hold on, get ready. Oh my God, look at this, Aiden, look, get, get close. So show how close we're gonna get to the thing. Oh my goodness, this is so crazy. Oh my God, that is so wicked, dude. Do you feel the torque of the boat? Has even started, it hasn't even turned fully yet. Look at that. No, it hasn't turned fully. Wait until we get one of the, But you saw how effortlessly he just did that? Look at the pressure on the lines, man. Look at that. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, that is so nuts. That is so nuts. Wow. Oh my goodness. Guys, the whole back, look at this. We're completely turned. We're completely turned, guys. Look at that. Look at, oh, good old American glory right there, baby. Captain Greg here. I'm not gonna ask you too many questions because I know already some of the tight spots, but when you feel comfortable, we'll ask you a couple questions, all right? I'm sure there's nothing 
hard for you guys, right? Because I've already seen you guys do this like like clockwork, right? But what is the harder bridge? Or where's the harder turn so that we know, like as viewers? The the hardest bridge on the river is you gotta be 17. But you know, everybody has their different little things. Like I was talking to Morgan, a friend of mine, he's a captain on the Sarah. Okay. And I can't for the life of me figure out. I-95 for me is the most nerve-wracking. And it's it's not really a hard turn, but I don't know why, but I always get nervous at that bridge. 17th, I don't really mind all that much because I guess I, I get a better visual on 17th than I do on 95. Okay. But like for him, he's like, oh yeah, 95 doesn't bother him. And he has other places that, that he thinks are 17, what, what area would that be? Because I mean, obviously some people won't know what 17 would be. What area would that be? That's 17th Avenue. Okay. So that's... You know, Sue L Park is on the south side, then you have the condos and the hurricane goes on the north side. Cool. Alright guys, well I'm gonna let Greg work and uh, I'm gonna get a little bit more perspective down here. Guys, I'm just snooping around. Anything you don't want me to film? Uh, have fun. Right, guys, this is this is crazy. Oh my god. So here's their little area. And uh how crazy is this moment? Five bridge and the 17 are kind of like the tough ones. When the, the, the 95 is the expressway when they go over it. Some of you guys were asking last time where we launched out of. That is the, the ramp right there where you can launch on the Miami River. Not a lot of boats there today. And uh, last video, when there were some people asking me questions, they were talking to me from this balcony here. You guys see that turn? Wow, that is so crazy. Oh my God, look at this, guys. Wow. That is so nuts. What? No, that is crazy. Look at that, that is nuts, guys. Now he straightens it out. You you feel the boat taking the tug. Look at this tugboat, guys. Oh my God. I didn't know I was infatuated with tugs. I really didn't. This is so nuts. He's got that turn going on. Yeah. got some people coming out of the marina here
people leaving now they're going out okay so here's the turn guys this is the turn this is this is dreaded 17 guys it's about to come we got a couple things over here going on I want you guys to see a little bit of the of the tug to see if we can get some perspective on Greg's part he's got his horns up there they're ready and like I was telling you guys before this is Hurricane Cove Marina here Mer uh, Hurricane Cove Marina is my favorite to work at it's just big you know the, the people running it do a really good job All right, so Seawall Park would be to the right of us. You just called me sir Greg. Really? <laughs> really? You just did that? Yeah. Why are you laughing too, man? <laughs> now you just you just put 10 years on my life, man. Oh my god. So so we're coming on 17 now. Yes, this is 17 dollars. Alright, so I will stay quiet after this because I want them to get the whole perspective of what you feel is one of the harder um, bridges. Now, what makes it difficult is there's it's a compound turn, so you, we gotta just make made this one turn, and then you go around the park to line up for the bridge, and then the bridge is on an angle, so you gotta get turned right before you get into the bridge. So you got three turns to make in a span of a thousand feet. Are you planning on that? Now, the other day I saw that when you were working, there was a, an area that you had to really chug in, you had to put those motors to work. Um, so I guess get a turn. Is that is that something we're gonna experience today, maybe or no? Yeah, yeah. You're gonna experience in about 15 seconds. Here. <laughs> oh God! All right, guys. I hope I uh, hope Aiden is, is is holding on. <laughs> Got a, we got another ship inbound that we're gonna pass around 8:36 up here. A big one? Yeah. Two ships together? Yeah. Oh my god! Hold on, let me guys, let me go downstairs and go get my diapers. I'll be here back. <laughs> Hold the camera. Hold the camera. I just told Aiden to hold the camera, guys. Get ready. He's, he, here's where he says it's the hardest. Look, let's show them. Come in. Zoom in all over here. Come. All right, guys. So this is 17. I didn't want to be inside there. I just, I don't want to be the added pressure, man. It's just weird. But it's so cool. Now, this is where he said that he had to do those multiple turns. Oh yeah, you feel the, you feel the boat. Look at this, look at this. Look at this. Look at this, guys. We're on, we're on a tugboat. This is happening. That is so cool, dude. 
Wow. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Oh my goodness. How cool was that, Aiden? Wasn't that epic? Look how close you are here. All right, so this was his hardest bridge right here. This is the one that he said that is very tough for him. And he just conquered it like cake. That's Seawall Park there, guys, over here. Like I said, this, this park is under construction right now. I wanted to show them the perspective from inside here while you were going there, because maybe, but I saw you had your poker face on. I was like, this guy's not gonna, he's not gonna go ahead, you know? show a little bit of fear here nothing on youtube so so i went outside and let me tell you it was so cool the water was coming in through to the boat it was, it was awesome really love this perspective. so this is what uh, 836 here this is 836 is, is one of our highways guys and then we got 95 which is next so this one's easy yeah this one's a straight shot so straight this shot. is the longest longest straight away on the river and one of the widest points so this is where we chill we do our passes so Miami River, Miami River. and then yeah it's a little break for me too so who's who's who are you, who's essentially your eyes that's Alex he's on the ship he's on the ship yeah so somebody's on the ship giving you information yeah because when I'm on one side, I have no idea what's going on on the other. So he, he helps me out over there. And he's who, he's who you're listening to on the radio. Much better. Yeah, I heard him. I heard him going off there. That's uh, Channel Nine. That's our bridges. But the guy on the boat back there was videotaping because everybody went past us and put out a big wave and rocked all the boats. So they didn't like that very much. So, so what are some of the things that you guys don't like? So, so people who watch the channel, what makes your job harder? Because I saw some guys just trying to like pass you, like, like with hardly no space on each side. Yeah, I, I don't mind if you pass or you know if you feel like you're comfortable and you can make it. Go ahead. The thing that bothers me is. Every time somebody gets near and everybody, they go full throttle. And it's everybody in the boat gets thrown around and the, the last thing you need is being passing one of these ships and somebody gets thrown out of your boat. I can't stop it or me trying to stop it is gonna make the whole situation worse. Okay. Well, that's a good perspective to know because we wouldn't have known that yeah. without knowing what really concerns you, you know? Yeah, so it's, the biggest thing is, you know, just, you can be, you know, you can get by the ships, it's fine, as long as, you know, you think you got the space and you can make it, but worry about the people that are on your boat, you know, take care of, that's your responsibility is driving the boat, is the lives that are in the boat are your responsibility, you got to take care of them. You can't expect this ship to stop, you can't expect it to get out of your way, it's, it's, you know, the ship sort of goes where it wants to go, and, uh, I just, I, if I watch an accident, I've watched accidents happen and stuff, people not paying attention or trying to do something a little questionable and I can't help. There's nothing I can do and I, it, it really, it hurts, you know, and I, I don't want to see anybody get hurt when they're just trying to get up and down the river. You know? So this is the straightaway here that you guys are just basically, and then, and then we got after this bridge 95. Well, we got 12, which is coming up. Then 5th Street, Flagler, and then 95. Yeah. And it gets a lot more scenic now, guys. I mean, they're in some AC in here, having a good time. I mean, I feel like I'm actually working. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go see what's, let's see if my $25 employee over there is working outside.
saw me coming, huh? You cannot make this thing up, bro. You cannot make this up. Oh my God. Guys, this is tugboat heaven right here. Oh my goodness. We got the Captain Baby coming in and we got the Sarah in the back. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at this. Oh my God. Oh my goodness, bro. No. That is absolutely nuts. Guys, it doesn't get any it doesn't get any better than that, bro. I thought I thought that I got the holy grail of tugboating. Guys, this is it. On the river. We got the Captain Sarah here passing through. <laughs> yeah, look at him guys. Alright, the Sarah! That is crazy. Back to work. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. It doesn't get any crazier than that. <laughs> guys, believe it or not, I'm actually sweating. I'm sweating because it's, it's work. And it's hot, too. I mean... We got the Sarah uh, just passed with Captain Babin. Nice. Did you, would you have expected that that ship was gonna pass on the Miami River? Crazy, huh? Yeah. Can I go up there to now? What was that? Can I go up there? No, no, don't go up there just for now, you know, because it, I only wanted to get that shot, but look, if, if you wanna sit down a little while and cool off, there's air inside.
All right, guys, listen up. Aiden, show these restaurants. Okay, this is Restaurant Row, okay? Restaurant Row here on the river. Guys, if you wanna have a nice dining experience, you got Restaurant Row here on the river. And this is one of the restaurants here, it's called the Kiki. Uh, you also have, uh, what's this one up here? I don't know the name of this one here. We'll, we'll find out now, I should have a sign. We got Casablanca and we got Garcia's. We got the city of Miami police doing their thing here on the river. Casablanca guys and we got Garcia's oh and we have a tugboat too I forgot to mention that no standard talk gentlemen I hope you got a sensor button on that thing. I do, I do. It's, it's called the bleep button. Yeah. It makes Alfred work on in the editing process. <laughs> okay, so this is the infamous 95. Yes. Um, and this is a piece of cake for you. This is the part that you're like, whatever. Exactly. But some other captains right now are trembling. <sighs> and it's nice when you got something like that. Yes, yes. Just yes. To get yeah, ready. I, well, you know what? That'll be that'll be an expensive that'll be an expensive repair for him. I was just showing him. I was like, wow, this guy's gonna go ahead and do everything that that Greg just said he didn't want it to happen. Exactly. So I'm sure that happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are there rules against that for them or no? There's no like rules. No. Like until somebody gets crushed completely, that's when you gotta give the right away to the tug guys. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, as far as as far as Coast Guard is concerned, the vessel being overtaken always has the right of way. So if you're passing me, I have the right of way. But the other rule is avoid a collision at all costs. I don't know, it's just sometimes I feel like they don't think when they act. Yeah. Now, one of the things that impresses me so much is that the amount of space you guys have to work here when you're working. Like, when I was looking at you guys and I was filming here, I was like, wow, this is so tight. It's, the, the clearance is 75 feet. And the, the ship is, this ship's 42. So it's, it's pretty good. And this one's got a, a lot of clearance. The, the weird thing about it is that what the current's doing. So this bridge, most of the time, the current doesn't turn until it hits that wall. Okay. So the face of the bridge, the current usually runs across it. So you've got to... You know, if, if there's a lot of current, you gotta adjust for that. And that's, some things you can't always see them. And you just gotta be able to, to know what's going on. This is the most scenic part of the river here. That, I mean, I'm sure you guys have seen the transition of how it's, you know, completely filled out. And uh, essentially everybody's gotta get, kind of getting pushed out of the river. Yeah. It's crazy. Everything is getting bought up. The river is changing. Absolutely. And quickly. Yeah, quickly. Very, very fast, guys. The construction and the building that's going on on the Miami River is crazy. Well, let me go check on Aiden. Make sure he's doing his $25 worth because Aiden's, he, Aiden's doing a good job. He did. He, he already raised another 25 bucks. I'm at 50. Before this trip's over, it might be at 100 bucks. <laughs> you gotta get out of here. I, I might need a new job. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright guys. Oh look at the manatees! Aiden! Oh. 
this is the last one, gentlemen. How crazy has this day been? Now what we'll do is I'll show, I'll show them, I'll show you guys um, what what is done on the, you know, the way that they turn the ship so that she can go on her own, and then uh, and then we'll go ahead and talk to uh, Greg a little bit more inside and cool off a little bit because it's been actually pretty hot. Proud of my boy. Look how close, guys. Come. At its finest. Look at this man. A hair, guys, a hair, a hair. There you go, guys. Go ahead. Put those 425s to work. That's not ACB. Looks like a 53 Sueño. All right, guys. Now, now it's basically we're getting into the intercoastal, and uh, and to the right of us would be Biscayne Bay. So now we're smooth sailing. Yeah, we're gonna just get out in the basin, turn her around, and send her on her way. So how far do you have to take her out to turn her around? We just we just go to this uh, west basin in here, right okay. off of that cruise ship right there. So once you're there, turn around, she's on her own. Yep. Does she have her motors on already or no? Uh, it depends on, every ship is, you know, they got different systems. So if it's a direct reversible, which means when the engine cranks up, it's in gear, then no. Okay. Um, if they have a transmission to where they can, you know, put it in neutral, then yeah, they'll crank up early and let it warm up. I believe that this one is direct reversible, so you'll hear it crank up once we get out there. Great. What was the first time that you did this? This actual hole by yourself on the river. Nobody there. How was that experience? Uh, extremely nerve-wracking. Extremely. How old were you? I was, uh, I guess, about 20. 20 years oh, old? Yeah. Oh my goodness! So your dad put a he put a lot of trust in you. Yeah, my. Uh, when I started, you know, I, used to, I started on well, I started as Alex riding the ships. And then from there, I, I used to ride with my dad every day, and then he'd let me do parts of the job until I could do the whole thing. And then I started pulling. I got my license right out of high school, so by the time I was 19, I had my license. And I started pulling, and then I would ride on my free time with my, my uncle was the tailboat captain. So I would ride with him and try to learn as much as I could. And just gradually started and then I started tailing and it was it was scary. It was scary. Couldn't sit down, you'd stand up for the two hours straight, sweating, nervous. And, uh, now did your dad do the tailing at some point as well? Yeah, he used to you know, because it was it's just us, so if uh, my uncle would go out of town or something, then my dad would tail and my granddad used to pull. And, uh, that's that's awesome. So your dad was telling me since the 1920, you guys have been doing this on the river. Yeah, my great-grandfather 
they came down in 21 and started, they moved down here, they moved to Alapata, and they worked all kinds of different marine jobs, any marine jobs, marine construction, marine salvage, towing, they did just about everything. Boat building, my, gra uh, my granddad had a boat yard on the river, he used to do boat repairs and build boats. Started buying tugboats just to because his customers wanted him. You know, I can't get the boat to the yard. Yeah. So he would, you know, he got little started building started building little tugboats. Um, he went to a government auction and bought a confiscated Cuban sailing fishing boat. And turned it into a 32 foot tugboat. And that was our first tugboat. Wow! I gotta see pictures of that yeah. at some point. Yeah. That is awesome because you know I always try to find out the story behind the story, uh, and I think that's what fascinates me. The fact that your old man was was able to see you work because of the video for me was awesome because you know I'm sure he had his own moment and he watched that video from point to point, which was a, a long video by the way, guys. <laughs> but I wanted I wanted not to I I didn't want to do you guys injustice when it comes to of how you guys are performing and working you know um, and you know I know I could I can shorten the videos and make them like you know cookie cutter and boom 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 and but I, I want them to experience everything that you guys are doing this has been incredible Aiden was just telling me right now he was like God this is this is crazier than the other day <laughs> you know I was just explaining he was he was invited yesterday to go to the beach I've been I, I taught him on corona and lockdown yeah. So I haven't let him do too much. So his friends were going to go hang out on the beach. You know? And then I said, all right, we're going to go on this boat. And he's like, yes. He was excited. And then I go, but it's tomorrow. He was like, what do you mean tomorrow? God, that's when all my friends are going to the beach. I was like, don't worry. Don't worry about it. We'll, we'll, we'll find you. Look, I'll throw you off the boat now in a minute. <laughs> you can swim there. We're not too far from South Point. Yeah. Oh, man. But uh, well, it's awesome. I told him, look. He'll look back at this experience, you know, and kids are kids, you know, yeah. they, they are, he's enjoying this and at the same time I got him helping me, yeah. it, it's, it's uh, awesome. It's, it's, that's, that's basically how I grew up on these boats as a little kid, and all my friends were out playing and doing stuff and I was here, but I liked it, I, I love the tugs, I love the, I love being out here, and uh, I'm lucky to be able to get to do this every day. Now, speaking of any day, every day, do you guys have days off? What, what are your days off? No days off, seven days a week. Yeah. So, seven days a week. So, I mean, some days are slower than others, right? I, right. I, I mean, it, there's, especially because of Corona, like we've had a, a big drop in the amount of ships we do. So, I mean, one thing we've taken advantage of it, we've been able to maintain the boats a little bit more because the boats, you know, I don't. I don't work very hard. I sit in this chair, it's air conditioning, I push these little levers and the boat does the work. Yeah. So it's been nice to be able to have a little downtime to take care of the boat and do some things that need to be done and, and you know, because this is, this is what we rely on for our families, you know, to, so that we can eat. Yeah, absolutely. So it's, you know, I guess every hardship you come through, there's there's some silver linings there. So yeah. So now you're gonna go and turn this completely, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna get outside. I'm gonna get that perspective outside, guys. Let's go outside. Some of you guys wanted to see. Some people were like, "You didn't get the best part. The best part was when they turned the ship and let it go on its own." We got it, guys. We got you guys. Relax. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming, guys. It's coming. It in. It in. Come, so you can get the zoom, zoom, so we can zoom in on on the pilot. That pilot's gonna go, get on the boat. Go quick, so you can get that pilot. He's gonna board the boat to guide it out of here. Yeah. yeah. 
You're still recording this whole time, right? Yeah. You haven't stopped it. All right. All right, that's the pilot boat. Okay, so, so in that little pilot boat, in that little uh, yellow boat that was on the other side, so that guy, he knows this water really, really good, right? So if, if, this, if this ship goes to that area right there, see that over there? It hits ground and it turns over, sinks, a huge pond. Hold, the, hold it, hold this tight. Get ready, we're turning it. Hold it tight. All right, guys. So what are you looking for right now while you're here? When he blows the whistle, I just blow the lines. Okay. This is crazy. She's off to sail on her own merry way, guys. Oh Lord. Does this mean I'm driving, Captain? Oh, yes. oh my God. Sir? You can go. You can close. Stop, guys. Now the pilot just, just boarded that uh, ship. And I do believe we're gonna have to go pick up that one over there that's coming now. And bring that one on the way back. And do it all over again. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a 16 hour video. No guys, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. There's only so much Montaner you can, you can listen to all day. Bye bye! Transport Kingston! We salute you! We got someone else. Okay, so he's the gentleman who's been communicating with Greg. Oh boy, this is this is more intense than what I thought, guys.
Welcome aboard. Good to see you. Good to be aboard. You didn't bring the rotor, did you? No, no, not at all. Okay, all right, good guys. We're good. We're good. We're not gonna bring the rotor over here on, on the Atlas. Wow, you saw how cool that was? Now he is the guy who's communicating with the tugboat captain, Greg, to tell him what's in front of him. You didn't bring your glasses? No? Hey. Crazy, dude. What an epic, epic day. All right, Aiden, listen. Your friends right now are in South Beach. If you jump off and this corner where I tell you, you don't want to jump off. I'm telling you, it's right there at South Point Park. It's the pier. You would have to just swim a little bit. All right, guys, I guess, you know. Now, when you guys see me filming, and you see all those incredible boats that I'm filming, that's where we're heading now, to South Point. But you see that big cargo ship that's up there? That's the one we have to go ahead and pick up. Look at this. All right, and you're gonna have to work real quick. Get this part. Guys, does that boat look familiar? The Betty K? Hold on, okay? We're going, we're going pretty quick to it. Hold on, Aiden. Hold on. So now we gotta pick up another one, guys. We're picking the Betty K and we're bringing her in. Look at that boat on the way out. Look at the transport, she's gone. Hey, we got the Betty K right now. Look at the other one. Look at the other one, zoom in on the other one. And now we got the Betty K. This is not, this, I don't know, is this the same one that we filmed yesterday or is it a, it's the same one. The other day, not yesterday, the day before yesterday. All right. All right, that's fine. Get, get, get whatever footage you think is cool. his eyes and ears guys he is telling captain greg where to look where to what's on his sides so much going on
Greg, who helps your dad with the lines on his boat? He does it himself. He does it himself. Yes. That is what you call maximum efficiency. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering that. I was like, wait, who's helping Norman out? Norman told me earlier, I just work alone. <laughs> I love that guy. He's so cool. I, I, would, I could sit down and have a couple beers with him and just hear the stories. I'll be like, look, let's start off in the 80s. Let's, let's just, don't worry about anything else. Let's start, let's start talking from the 80s forward. Oh man, this river. Guys, don't forget the smash I like for these guys. They didn't have to do this. This was, I mean, this was epic for you guys. Ah, guys, we're doing it again. Um, I don't want to run out of SD card storage, but we're out of here. And uh, let's see. Let's see this pilot come back on his uh, boat. Man, there's so much to this, right? Look, look at the pilot there, guys. So he navigates the big ships into port. So that gentleman right there is was driving that boat, the big ship, the Betty Kate. He just waved at us and now they can go do it with someone else. And you see here, here's the port of Miami. If you if you look back here, here's the port of Miami. All this here is the port. And on the other side of this is where the cruise ships are. Look at this boat flying. Literally two, two to three feet. That's all it is, two or three feet, guys. I'm, I'm literally almost right under it. It's barely touching. are coming. <laughs> so, so Kevin was telling me that this boat moves around a little bit more than the other one. Is yeah. it because it's less weight or? No, it's heavier. Um, I, don't, I don't know what it is, design of the ship or something, it just, it doesn't tow as well. Uh, it just makes you guys work a little bit more. Yeah. What's powering these these tugboats? Uh, our tugs have a pair of 12 E71s, uh, Detroit diesels. And you guys have had those for a while? Yeah, they're, uh, well, they're the original engine. That boat was built, the G Rig was built in 1976 and this one in 1985. And your dad was telling me that the name on the G Ruth is his mom's name. Right. Isn't that awesome? And then he said that you guys got this one, it had a name already on it, and you just kept it on there because you're like, Atlas is kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And then there's the Pablo. Yeah. What do you guys use the Pablo for? It's a smaller one, right? It, yeah, it's a backup. So if something happens and one of these boats go down, then we have the two smaller boats for backup. So they would be our you know, for pull boats, so either the G Ruth or the Atlas can tail. The Atlas is uh, 14 feet longer, so she's a little bit longer, a little bit heavier, so she's a better tailboat. But if something happens to this, then I can tail with the G Ruth and pull with one of the other boats. Same setup inside, or? Pretty much. It's same engine, same transmissions, same props. So as far as power goes, they're pretty close to each other. Um, like What's up with the props? What, what, how, how, did the, how is the tow prop system for those that don't know? Um, they're just the conventional straight shaft. So I've got a 12 e 71 hooked to a 6 to 1 reduction transmission. Um, straight shaft to a 60 inch propeller, so a 5 foot propeller. And then a rudder, you know, and then two rudders. Now, uh, Greg, would this would this river be considered a harder river to work because of how tight 
tight it is, or is this, are there like tighter uh, places that are harder to navigate? I really don't know to tell you the truth. I haven't really. You haven't left the river since you were yeah. nine. <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, I go, I've been up to like West Palm and you know up North Florida and stuff, and then I've been down to the Keys doing little jobs here and there, but I've never really seen work on other rivers. Like I know Savannah is a huge river with big ships and they do a lot of work. You know, I think the river is sort of unique because it's so small and the ships are as big as they can get. And, and everywhere else in the world, these ships are tiny. They're, they're like microscopic compared to, you know, what the rest of the world is using. But for the river and for where they go, they're sort of as big as they could get. You know, Haiti, the, the transport, she goes to Haiti. She doesn't go to Port-au-Prince. She, you know, they go to small little ports around the island because it's very difficult for them to take the goods from Port-au-Prince and get them to the rest of the island. So it's easier to have these smaller ships yeah. go to these other ports where it's not so far of a truck. When your dad was telling me that the Medicaid line is supplying a lot of, you know, a lot of food, a lot of basic essentials for the island. So if, the, if this river is not functioning, people will starve. Yeah, I know that UK has a lot of, you know, they do a lot of humanitarian work. They do a lot of, a lot of that kind of stuff. And she goes to Nassau. She goes, right now they're running twice a week. They go to Nassau. So a lot of the stuff comes in there and then from there gets put on smaller boats and goes out all over the Bahamas. So, like when uh, when Dorian sat over over Freeport there in Abaco, we didn't work. They didn't work, and they got done. All right, let me get this started. Start. Start. They did a lot of human humanitarian work and donated a lot of cargo. Took the cargo over for free. They could to support, you know, Abaco and Freeport after after boarding. You have to get the whole turn. Yeah. Well, I'll catch you later. I feel like I'm interrupting. I know, I know, you're kidding. You got that poker face on. Trust me. You want the you want the the Vegas poker the poker championship. I'm not I'm not gonna be responsible for you taking out Casablanca. <laughs> to be able to do this with these guys. I mean, I would have never expected this in a million years. I want to thank, um, you know, Greg Norman and his wife, Susan. She was the one who actually was savvy enough to get into my Instagram and send me a message. So thank you so much, Susan, for everything that you also did on the behind the scenes. And uh, it's been absolutely amazing. This, this experience for you guys and for me, I mean, think about it. I'm just a regular guy filming off the end of the river excited about tugboats people see that excitement and then boom they put me in one now how crazy is that america is america guys and we do some incredible things in this country i know you guys don't see everything the way that we see it but it is what it is you know don't be startled don't be startled how's it going sir oh my god you did it twice this time i know i know it's on purpose you're trying to hide you know I'm a grandfather, right? This this goes personal now. <laughs> this, I really am. <laughs> you know, your dad was talking to him yesterday. And he goes, you got a son? Like he was surprised because I look old and at the same time I have a son. I was like, no, that's my grandson. He goes, oh, your grandfather? Things changed real quick. I was like, yeah. It's a long story. But, uh, oh man, it's been an awesome experience. I can't wait to talk to him. Uh, maybe I'll have like just a, a sliver of a window once we I guess put this Betty K, right? Because you got this Betty K and then you got to pick up another one. Yeah, yeah. Right back to back to back. 
Yes, sir. And so you have oh my god, another sir, that's three sirs in a row, guys. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's just like it's this video, called, never mind. It's called manners. No! <laughs> Not when you're dealing with Alfred. <laughs> Alright, look, let's have no manners when you when you feel like dressing me. <laughs> they're starting to construct over here as well. I don't know what's going on there. A lot of construction going on on this river. So so from here you go pick up another one. Yeah. What what boat are you gonna be picking up after this one? Uh Miss Lily. It's the little one that was right across from the transport. And then you have one after that as well? Uh it canceled. You, you, so it, oh, they canceled on yeah, you. Yeah, it moved to Monday. So what do they, what do they stay on port or out, out in the water? Or? No, it was the Naya was going to go out. Oh, so, the Naya. So it just stay there until Monday. Some people were asking, where are those mattresses and all that going? Because They go to Haiti. Um, I have heard that they strip them all down, get it all to the frame and the springs. <laughs> And they rebuild them. Like they'll sandblast it, they'll replace the broken springs and restuff it and cover it. And, and, and take it to Mattress Giant, baby. <laughs> that brand new, guys, that guys. brand new Sealy you just bought may not be that new. No, no, guys. I take that back. This is not going to those places. Just in case, now all of a sudden yeah. I get one of those letters on the yeah. thing. Yeah. Because of your YouTube channel. Exactly. No, no, guys. No. It was sarcasm. I just used the name of that company because we're, they're one of the bigger ones out here in South Florida. So, but I'm sure there's there's companies that, that do refurbish them and maybe, you know, sell them, you know, not for what, what they originally go for when they're right. making them from point to point. Right. I'm sure that they, you know, at a lower cost or something, refurbish. Yeah. But they get they get a lot of money for those actually. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we think it's we think it's garbage. And, you know, they take it down there and you know, give somebody a job, they strip them out and redo them and Hey bed bugs uh, are good for other places, you know? I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> bed bugs and crabs, you know? Come get them. They're free. On the river! Uh, keeps them out of our landfills too. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So you know I was filming that too long ago around here as well. Getting some of the boats passing and just give, giving them tighter different shots. Okay. But I'm gonna let you go now because we're getting into one of those interesting moments. So I want, I want to see everything from the back. Okay. So be careful. You, you got you got one sir left, sir. <laughs> one more left. That's all I'm saying. There's one last one. That's it. Okay. Hey, did you strike? Are you striking at me or no? What? You're striking. What does that mean? Don't worry, buddy. I've shielded you well, son. Visibility. Once it starts to go down, you know, it blocks the windows as it's going down. So he could he could drop it on you and wouldn't even know it. There was a big boat, um, a boat that was in your way. But how did that affect? Uh, uh, how did that get Like this guy's right in your way right now, right? I I gotta think about him and what he's going to do is I need to turn the ship. The ship's going to go towards him. Wow, look at him. He's, he's right there. You literally have to take him off. That is nuts. Wow. You know, he needs a diaper. You had to overcorrect because he was there. Yeah. I had to hold the turn, and the turn's late, and I'm late, and then and you have to overcompensate because you don't, you didn't get to do your normal routine. Nice smooth turn that yeah. went to something else. Now you got to go operate the opposite side to get the boat in check. So wow, let me tell you, you guys have a huge, huge responsibility. 
You got characters on the river that don't let you do your job right. Well, you do it right anyway. You gotta, you gotta be a little just. So I was thinking, you know, I, I need a job. I was thinking about doing the tug thing. You might want to go to the army. You say, sir, all the time. Yes, sir. No, sir. <laughs> Why don't we ship you out over there to, to North Carolina? Uh, very, very tight, guys. Look at that. He had to really correct that right away. That's that's the amount of error that we have, guys. That's all he can mess up. We're literally, oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That is so sick. I told you it was going to get bumpy, guys. It's tight. And I'm here. For the life of me, I don't understand how these guys do this. I just, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. Wait a second. So you can guys get it. Remember, he, he can't see this. Somebody's guiding him. Oh my God, look at this, dude. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm literally scared right now. I ain't even, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna front. I am scared. Dude, I, I'm, I'm literally scared. Oh my God, what is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, what is this? Oh, dude, hell no. Nah. I didn't sign up for this, Greg. Oh my God, look at this. Guys. Wow. No, 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 I can't believe, I can't believe this, dude. I cannot believe this. This is absolutely sick. No, 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 I can't believe this. Guys, guys, no, no, no. Oh, boy. I ain't even gonna lie, I think, I, I thought I just heard it snap, but. That's just me on petrol right now. Look at this uh, cargo. It's kind of empty. Man, I wish I had a heart meter right now that I could put on the screen. Because my heart is going crazy. So Kevin gets Alex's job. Alex gets my father's job. And I, I stay where I'm at. Okay. So, so he's calling you for a date. Yeah, he's done for you. Alright, he's behind us. Oh yeah, there you go. What a, what an awesome experience. Um, I'll tell you man, I'm super impressed with how you guys did all that. It's hard, it's hard to capture everything, right? Like the way that you guys see it. But, I try my best. I was talking to Kevin about it. You need a camera that can stay on the ship when the tugboat's moving all over the place. Oh, no, you have to move. You yeah. have to move around. Like, if I don't move as much as I do, they can't understand what's really going on. Yeah. I had a guy the other day tried to fly a drone off the tug. It didn't work. The phone wanted to return. The drone wanted to return home, and home was far away. So. So did it, did it not make it back? He lost his drone. Oh. In the camera. In the camera, wow. Yeah. Was, I felt really bad. I was like, dude. Don't worry about it. Hey, it's happened for a couple of It's happened to me. Yeah. Yeah, it sucks. But that was my Father's Day gift, too. Oh, boy. Let me start off by saying, you have the most well-mannered son in all of America. He has called me sir. About 20 times, Norman. Yeah, he does that. He does that, huh? 
I think that's when we get hit. I had, I had such a great time. Let me tell you something. So, I wanted to personally thank you because it was awesome. I really had such a good time. It, everything that I experienced, it was so different. Yeah. Uh, on the tug, and I saw him working. I mean, he was telling me when he first got on the tug for the first time. He was 20 years old. He was flipping out. But uh, seeing you guys navigate on some of the tightest spots in the river. This is, how many generations are we talking about? Uh, my granddad came here in 1920. 1920. So since 1920, you guys have been working tugs on the river. Uh, my father and me for four generations. Four generations. Yeah. That is crazy. Well, they started out doing salvage. Yeah, he was telling me about that, that your, your, your granddad ended up getting like a 32-foot boat and converting it into a tugboat. And, uh, yeah, they did all kinds of things. So, so you've been here from the 80s doing this? I've been here since 1957. 57? My parents had a boat yard over there. So you've My seen it all in the river. office. I was about two weeks old. I was in the crib outside. The that is crazy. Well, listen, uh, Norman, I want to thank you. So, thank you so much for reaching out to me. I'm, I've been, I was privileged and honored to have my son enjoy this. He's so shy. Look at him. <laughs> he, he's a good boy. He's, he, 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 what do you mean? He's good. He just, I was paying him 25 bucks. Somehow this trip, I have to pay him 50 now. <laughs> hey, sure. one strike. Hey, wait, you want wait, more money? What's going on here, man? <laughs> hey, you know what? Pay Greg a little bit less in that case. Yeah, you know? I will. <laughs> there you go. We'll be even. No, no, I'll, no. I'll pay Alex less. There, there you go. <laughs> Alex and Kevin. All right, guys. Well, listen, I really want to thank you guys. I want to let you all out. Uh, Take care. You're gone for the day, right? You're done. I go get a belt. He's got to go. He's got to go, guys. Hey, thank you so much. I re oh, there you go. Look here. I got hand sanitizer if you want. I got it. Something that's oh, okay. Good. We've been pretty good though uh, ourselves. Um, and, uh, Aiden, you want to tell anything to Norman? Thank you for inviting us. We had a Very welcome. Well. Glad you enjoyed it. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, yeah. guys, don't forget to smash that like for Hempstead Marine. And if you guys ever need any any work on the river, you know who can tow you in. All right, guys. Hey, amazingness. Amazingness. That is what we do. Boom! All right, guys. Hey, listen. Don't forget to smash that like. The people here at Hempstead Marine, Inc. And uh, the Gene Ruth, man. This is the captain. I always watch you. I'm going to keep on watching you. What channel can I follow you guys on when you guys are communicating on the Nine, VHF? 19 Alpha. 19 Alpha. Yeah. So if I had a handheld, I could be listening. I, you know what? I'm, I, when I'm filming on the river, you'll see me with a handheld. So I'm going to go ahead and reach out to you guys. Can to look at the pilot station website? No. How do we do that? BB, uh, www bbpilots.com bbpilots.com and then you push dispatch you push dispatch and it'll, it'll have times and the names of the ships okay and our handle is h-e-m-p a-t-m-p h-e-m-p h-e-e-m-p -E -E hemp yeah there's lines like that so you they, they'll be able to listen to you too through there no no they can see what we're doing oh so they can see you completely yeah watch out there we go all right guys all right guys we're out of here see ya. take care thank you so much you're welcome guys welcome every day to say that we are out of here Today's show was brought to you by the following sponsors. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And always remember, amazingness, that's what we do.